guys welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is seven seven top tips on how to get in to radio and television i have more radio experience than television but i think this can apply for the both of them so if you want to know my seven top tips stay tuned so the first thing i want to talk about is a category of social media so first and foremost you need to make sure that your social media represents the type of person that you want to be and aspire to be and it has to reflect your interests and you need to show already that you're the type of person that they would want to work for them so if you're into music are you up to date with all the things that are going on in the music world are you retweeting not only retweeting but are you quote tweeting and adding a comment so that people can see your opinion on things swazi who is a presenter on kiss fresh she said your instagram and your twitter are your cvs like make sure they reflect who you are through your twitter you can sort of work out the type of person that you're dealing with so i made sure that my twitter reflected someone that is an absolute music head someone that's doing loads of things someone that's proactive like you've got to just demonstrate that when i first started approaching people on twitter i messaged the lovely joe de Chin, and through us like having a sort of mutual understanding and common ground and like a lot of things in common she then invited me to her radio show and then i helped her and i was her broadcast assistant for a few months so that sort of good twitter with a like clearly displaying who you are is so key. Secondly, in terms of social media, make sure that you're following the right people. All those Miss Lighty Skinned, Miss Brown Skin, Miss This, Mr. Mr. Muscle, all of that, unfollow all of them because they are not beneficial to you. Yeah, they may give you the retweets that you want, but let's just focus on your career at the moment. Make sure you're following all the companies that you want to work for, and also make sure you're following the people that do what you want to do. The last thing in terms of social media is make sure you're following the sort of media um, accounts that promote jobs. So some of the best ones I find are at Mediarg. Um, they are on it. Like any company that has anything to do with media, they will definitely have it posted. And if you're following them, you're constantly going to find out what jobs are there. It's not only jobs, sometimes it's work experience, internships, shadowing, like there's so many opportunities, so follow them. Um, if you're an ethnic minority, there's um, this thing called Creative Access, where they provide creative access to um, people that are in the BAME community and um, you can find like all the different type of jobs and work experience on there as well so make sure you're following them and also um, I have to promote it because that's how I found out about um, my BBC internship was through BBC Get In and that is literally helping you get in the BBC so make sure you follow them. The second category is to do with networking. My main tip about networking is using Eventbrite Eventbrite is so handy for so many different things. You can just type in anything to do with radio and anything that's coming up soon related to radio will be there and you'll attend it and you'll meet like-minded people and you'll start building your connections. Yeah, I'd also search on Twitter the keywords. So if you're looking for a radio event, type in radio event and anyone that's tweeted, hi, I'm hosting a radio event, it will come up. If you're looking for something about how to get into TV, how to get into TV event. Bam. anyone that's tweeted that that will come up and you'll go to their event it's literally so simple also a lot of people may like lack certain skills and on eventbrite you can find free workshops that help you i went to a free vlogging workshop and now i'm here i've you, i've seen on there like editing workshops some of them are they're not always free but it's a good place to start looking so editing filming so many different things because nowadays people want you to be a jack of all trades and they want you to be able to know how to do all these things how to set up your own camera and like lead an interview by yourself filming it lighting it everything so if you don't know where to go to learn them things try eventbrite because people like to help and they might be someone might be putting on a workshop that can help you the next point is about approaching people via email so when i first 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 went to go into radio i emailed um represent with my CV and loads of links of all the stuff that I've done, um, which also, before I go into that, make sure you've got stuff to send. Like, you can't wait for someone to ask you to be in something, because you'll be waiting a long time. If you have your own work that you can submit, it's it's like, it's just a good, like, people want to see what you've done rather than just hit, see it written. Like, they actually want to visualize it and see, hear your voice, see what you look like, all of that. So make sure you've got your own work that you can, um, send so 
in relation to that. So when I started emailing people, I had loads of links that I could send on my YouTube channel, like the videos that I'd made when I'd covered events, and then like my tutorials and stuff like that. So when you're emailing people, make sure you've got loads of things to send. Also, think about the timing when you send your emails. So if you're looking to try and work, um, do a work placement somewhere, like say in the Easter holidays, the Christmas holidays, or the summer holidays, they're actually good times. Like, make sure you email just before the holiday starts because obviously at Christmas some people get away so they might be short of staff so they may actually want extra hands to help and obviously you're willing so you need to be strategic in terms of when you email people to give them a hand also um, don't email someone at 4am because they're going to be wondering what are you doing like why are you why aren't you sleeping just don't do it it's very weird if you email someone on Monday they're going to have to be dealing with all the weekend email then all the Monday ones and it's just not you just it will take time but if you email someone on a tuesday they've had time to get through all their emails and tuesday it's like the first to be honest tuesday's like the first actual day of the week because you've you're you're ready for work you know so tuesday roughly 11 they've just got in had their breakfast had a cuppa they'll see your email right at the top bam and make sure your email looks professional and your twitter and your instagram all of that make sure they're just your name like, it looks professional and people like that don't make it anything else but your name if you have to add a one at the end or like the year that you're born like maybe but just keep it your name nice and simple and lastly um if you're at uni make sure you utilize what you have if you're into media and you don't know whether you want to go into news television radio etc literally every uni has a student media center so here at kent we've got the um Inquire, which is the newspaper, KTV, which is the television station, and CSR, which is the um, radio station. So these, like, being able to just qu come in and quickly, like, suddenly be writing for a newspaper, suddenly having, like, your own television show, and also having a radio show so quickly is rare when you go into the big wide world. So while you're at uni, utilise it because they're, like, they run exactly the same as how, obviously on a more simpler scale, and, like, it's less hectic, and it obviously... Um, there's less pressure because obviously if you're working for someone you're scared you know you're getting paid to do it so you want to do it up to scratch but here at uni you can afford to like make mistakes because everyone's learning and they really do follow the almost the exact same guidelines as like bigger corporations so this is like the trial period so if you're at uni definitely give it a go so you can see what it is you want to do because they run it exactly the same how they do in like major companies so I highly recommend joining the student um media so yeah they're my seven tips i hope they help if you have any questions let me know um yeah i hope it helps you guys and let me know what stages of your media career you're at because it'll be good to network so down below i want your name age um if you're going uni or not what you're doing now and what you'd like to do and let's all connect with each other cool thanks for watching guys and i'll see you later bye